Hello world, this is Alan. This is the second of three videos where I'm programming an earth flattener robot from the CC tweaked mod to level an area for me to do other builds on. This video and the first one are where I design a prototype to determine exactly how I wanna build the finished bot. The next video is a start to finish how-to tutorial based off the design we've come up with here. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about the process, please feel free to ask them in the comments. Okay, let's get started. We have our giant pit here, which is doing great. The only thing that I'm not liking about it is two things. So it's not the only thing, but two things. One, it has gravel and it has sand and probably cobblestone back there or stone. I would prefer that everything just be the same thing. So I'm gonna, I wanna get to dirt everywhere. The other thing, this is a pretty big area. This is actually, even though this is a prototype world, I'm still playing on survival. So monsters can spawn there, especially if I'm over here, like that's probably far enough for things to spawn. So I wanna add some torches to this area as well. So that'll be the two things that we run on this one. Here we go, we're gonna go back into VS Code. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a new file called flatten, actually I'm gonna put an underscore in front of this. Flatten earth dot E-A-R-T-H part one dot Lua. This is where we're gonna drop all of the contents from this file so that we can start from scratch. This will be part two. Let's rename this to part two. And the reason I'm putting that underscore in front of it is for the autocomplete, because if I go into the turtle, if I type FLA, it's now gonna autocomplete for Flatten Earth part two for me. If I didn't put the underscore in front of the other one, it would keep trying to go to part one for me. So that's just a little thing to make the autocomplete a little bit nicer, a little bit faster. All right, so let's go back in and edit this file a little bit. The, the first thing I think I wanna do is I actually wanna move these values up, the length and the width, so that I see them as the first thing in the file. I kept them below the function because I was like, I, in Lua, I tended to find the functions as the first things, but realistically, this, um, this makes it a lot more likely for me to see because I actually missed it when we were doing the last version of this and had it go a little bit too far to the left. This is the base run, this, this does it. This actually is what built this, this giant flattened earth area for us. I'm not 100% sure how this is gonna work with checking out the stuff that's below the earth. I know that there are ways to look at the, what's below you and get some determination about that. So we're actually gonna end up in the documentation a little bit, which is here. And so inside Turtle, and there'll be a link to the doc in the description. So this is where, this is where we'll pull all this stuff. So let me put this in here while we've got it and then come back here. So underneath turtle, it's got to compare, check if block in front of the turtle is equal to the item in the currently selected slot. Okay, there's suck, there's get fuel. I want to see, so inspect, get information about the block in front of the turtle and inspect down. So we're going to be looking down, right? Cause we're flattening this area. So inspect down, get information about the block below the turtle. Boolean, whether there's a block below the turtle, and then it returns a table or a string of information about it. So a table, if information about the block exists or a string, if there is no block below it, explaining why. Okay, let's go look at inspect for a second. So there's inspect and then up and down. And I've looked at these docs a little bit, so I'm already kind of familiar with what I'm looking for here. But this inspect actually has an example for us. The inspect down, which we're looking at, doesn't. It's just a little bit farther down the page. But this shows us kind of how this works and kind of what to expect. If we're doing turtle, we wanna make two variables here that is gonna be has block and data. And that's where we're gonna call the inspect on it. Then if has block is true, we're gonna print a serialized version of the data and we should see that. And then if not, there's no block in front of it. So I'm just gonna copy this code. We're on flatten earth part two. I am going to just paste this here and I'm gonna comment everything out here. I could make another file. Actually, no, let's let's make another file. That's actually probably a better way to do this. So let me undo that. Let's make another file that's gonna be inspect down.lua. This will be a little bit better for us. It copied and run there for us. We don't need that. So here's inspect down. And I'm gonna call this inspect down, right? Because we wanna look down. So let's see what this has for us. That's all comment. We're gonna take that out and we should see basically the same thing. So let's go back into the game and back in the turtle and do inspect down. Cool. 
it gave us a whole bunch of stuff, but it gave us more stuff than the terminal can print. And I don't know how to scroll up in this terminal. I'm not even sure that if you can. I looked a little bit for it, but didn't find it. So we're going to do something a little bit different now. We're actually going to open a file and write out to the file. So if has block, so we're going to do local output file is going to equal to fs dot open uh, description, no details. We'll just call it details.txt. So that's the file name and we want to open it for writing. So we'll do a W there. And then here, if we get into this, we're going to do output file dot write W R I T E W R I T E all this stuff. Now I'm not going to, I'm not going to print it out here, but I'm going to comment that out just in case we need to get back to it. Otherwise we want to write no block. I guess we can comment that one out too, just in case we need it. And then here, one of the things that I have learned through many a times that we need to do is we need to close this file. Otherwise stuff breaks. So let's see if we run this now. We do inspect down. Now if I do ls, we get this details.txt file. So now I can, oh wait, hang on. Is this gonna do what I think it's about to do? I haven't actually checked this yet. Details.txt, look at that right there. Awesome. We don't even have to look at the terminal at all. Name, Minecraft Gravel. That's really cool. And here's some other stuff that comes along with it. I think there's ways to get even more data, but this, this really is all that I need right now is this Minecraft Gravel. And really what I need is this. Let's go move the turtle and put the turtle over dirt because we don't necessarily want to know what we're over. We just want to know when we're not over dirt. So if I do inspect down one more time and then we go back to VS Code, this file is updated and it's on a grass block. Perfect. And here's all the light. That does a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm sure at some point we'll look at this. Dirt equals true. Oh, we could actually say dirt equals true, but this will be a little bit easier for me to hit. So now what we want to do is let's see if we can get to just this name when we're looking at stuff. So in VS Code, I don't want to see all of these things. I want to just get to this name. In inspect down, let's see if we do this. If when we output to the file, we do output file.write, W-R-I-T-E, and then we do data.name. Let's see what that does. I don't know if that's actually gonna work or not. Didn't throw an error, so that's a good sign. Details, there's a name, glass block, awesome. Because what I can do now is we can look at every block and if the name is not grass block, then we can place a grass block or dirt in our case. So let's figure out how to make that happen. So in flatten earth part two, here's where we're gonna be going. So after we, here's our move forward function. We're gonna start by detecting in front of us. When we detect in front of us, we're gonna, we find something in front of us, we're gonna dig out and then we're gonna move forward. Then we do the detection up stuff and then we come back down. So let's do this before. It feels more natural to do it before. So let's look below us to start with. So let's grab our inspect down from here. I'm gonna close startup. We don't need it right now. We're gonna put our inspect down line right there. And then what we wanna do is we wanna say local block below type is gonna to equal to data.name, which is the same thing we're doing here to get this data name. Let me take these out so it's a little bit easier to see. Now what we wanna do is compare that data name. If we go pull in details, this is what we're looking for. So if block below type is not equal to, and this is how we say it's not equal to in Lua, that then what we want to do is dig down. And then we want to place a block down. Now, the thing that we need to make sure we do here is actually load dirt blocks up before we start. Um, theoretically, we could check and make sure that we really are placing a dirt block, but I'm just going to set up the machine to work properly. And because it's going to be getting so much other dirt, it should be fine. If it runs out of dirt and throws cobblestone in that first slot, it would make cobblestone everywhere instead of dirt. 
but it's not going to be any worse because it's not going to replace existing dirt. It's only going to replace stuff that's not the grass block. That should be fine. So let's test that a little bit and see how this is doing. So I'm going to come over here. I'm not going to worry about testing the digging functionality because we're pretty sure that that works. Do I have some dirt? I don't have any dirt. So let's get this set up for preloading. And I'm just going to set this right here, actually. So I want to see if we can get that one block of dirt. And it's going to go forward a couple. And it shouldn't mess with any of these. It should only dig that one up and then take it out. Pardon me, sheep. So the other thing that we need to do is we need to go back to VS Code for a second. And I only want to go forward about, let's go forward five and just do a one here for the back and forth. And if we prep our dirt in here and do Flatten Earth Part 2, see what happens. There we go. So it's going to fill in our dirt for us. Now it should turn around and come back. And it would be eating all the other dirt up above it um, that, that cleared out this pit because we've, we've already done that. Like we've already checked that and that's already working. So I can actually run this again once we have this set up. I could actually run this right now and have it fill in those pieces of dirt for us. So I'm a, we'll, we'll end up running it like that as well. And then we'll also go dig another pit in a minute. But let's run one other thing here, which is gonna be torches. Ooh, I need to make some torches. Let me go make some torches. Ah, now there is something here that we need to watch for. We're gonna have to make selections for the slots because we're gonna be placing dirt, but I also need to be placing torches. So I need to place two separate things. Interesting. Ooh, I need to feed this a bunch more dirt because it's gonna try, yeah, it's gonna run out of stuff. Okay, we got a couple of things we got us off here. I thought this was gonna be a shorter one, but it's gonna be a little bit longer than I expected. So let's start with this. Let's go, how do we wanna do this? If we are running through here, I don't want to put anything on the first row, mainly because I want to put stuff to one side and I don't, if I'm on the first row, there may be things over there. So it wouldn't be able to place. I want to, we're going to go at least two here. And then I think what I want to do, oh, I need to go like five here because when we move forward, the first thing we want to do is do this. Actually, we are going to do it two here. If with divided by two, no, hang on. We're in a different place. All right, I gotta find this for a second. We need to have our counters going here. So here's our width step and here's our length step. Oh, this would be, okay, so this is, okay, this is actually interesting. This might actually work for us. So this is, this is covering the width and the width does two columns per go. So it goes out turns, moves forward and turns, which turns it around one block over, and then it comes back. So when I'm here, I actually know that the side, this other side has been cleared. So I can actually put torches over there. So how do we want to do that? In this row, let's just do this to start with. If link step mod five equals zero, then we want to do turtle select two, because I believe turtle select is what gets us to change the currently selected slot. Yeah. So that's going to select our torches. So I need to, when we're prepping this, we need to make sure torches are in slot two and dirt's in slot one. I'm going to switch those just it feels like I can get my head around that a little bit better because the the dirt is going to stack up after this. So I just want the torches first and all the dirt to be second. So we're going to select our torch and then we're going to do turtle place. And if we've turned around and we've turned around, I think we want to do to the right. And then after I place it, I'm going to switch back to the second slot where our dirt is so that we're, we're prepped when we move forward to place the right item. Let's just see what that does. We're going to yellow this just a little bit. In VS Code, we need to make sure that we're going forward. If we're doing it every five, I'm just going to put that to seven. And that only needs to be one because we're just going to go up and back. And this is going to do it on every row. Actually, let's do two just so we can watch that happen. Flatten Earth part two and watch it run. I'm not sure what happened. Possibly it ran out of fuel. Length step percentage five. Interesting. 
if link stop L E N G. Oh, I spelled I spelled it wrong. Okay, so that's an error. I spelled something wrong. I should make a counter for the number of times I reverse T N H. It's already up at ten, I think. Awesome. Errors are cool. Run this back here. Oh, we can actually yeah, we can actually have it go do some work for us right now. So those go in the first place. This goes here. Flatten Earth Part Two. Oh, we didn't make it start in slot two. Okay, we need to stop that. I'm actually going to leave those torches there to see if this works. I think this might work when we fix this. So the bug that we have there is we need to make sure that we start in slot two when we first run this. So this will be the first thing that we do is we do turtle select slot two. Back to game. We need to put in our torches and we need to put in our dirt. And then we do flatten earth part two. There we go. Yeah, see, it's picking up the torches. So anything that's not dirt below it, it's going to replace with dirt. So that works for cobblestone. It also works for when we accidentally put torches down there. Now, what I hope happens is on the way back, it should put a torch right here. Well, okay, we got another bug. Turtle place right. Place right, attempted, nil value. Oh, is there, there might not be a place right. I was guessing on that. Where's our place values? Place up, place down, place. Oh, we can't do it as a place right. We actually have to turn it. Got it. So check this out. What we need to do here is when we're trying to place this turtle, there is no place right. But what we can do, turtle, turn right, and then place it, and then turn back to the left. like that. All right, here we go. Got a better feeling about this one because every time we fix a bug, I get a better feeling about it. Eventually we will get it to do the thing that we want. Let's do this one. Just because we'll slowly but surely be putting this stuff in. Oh, we're starting to run out of dirt. Ah, this will be interesting. Watch this. I think I, think I know what's going to happen here. I think what's going to happen is it's going to fill in as many of these with dirt as possible. And when it comes back, it's going to break the stone and it'll just turn it directly into cobblestone and then place it right back down. So let's see if that's what happens. We're going to do flatten earth part two. Oh, it's not grass block. It's still dirt. That's okay. It's just placing and grabbing it and replacing it. It's fine. There's the cobblestone stuff. Why didn't it? There's our torch. Cool. So what that would do is that would place a torch every other thing. And I, I was kind of thinking it was going to place it up here because we told it like to, to divide by five and give us the remainder from five. But when it's headed this direction, five step is that way. I was thinking in my mental model of it, I was thinking five steps was up here. So I was thinking it would be up here, but no, it started over here and it's coming back. That's fine. We just wanted every five, but I don't want it to be every two rows. Cause if we continue to do this, it would do it every two rows. So we need to put another modulo in there. And so if it's, if it's on five, the other thing we want to do is put another if statement in here, which is going to be if, with step divided by three or modulo three is zero, then end. And this is going to take just a little bit longer to run because we need to go at least three. I, actually, let's just do two here. That'll be, we should be able to see the space with just two. So back to program, run this. I'm going to do this back here so it doesn't have to keep trying to dig the grass. And we do want to put torches in there. I'm going to put something in there just so it has 
blocks in there. And let's do Flatten Earth Part 2. And so this is where we're starting. And right now, the only thing we're looking for is torches. And so it shouldn't put one here because it's only going to do... And this is just marking the corner that we have there. But I think it's going to put one right about here. There we go. And so if we continue to let it go, it would also move forward more and over more and it would kind of place a pattern for us out here. We could probably make those go just a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a version of this where we set the values up and just ha just let it go just to watch the torch placement. I'm not really gonna mess with the rest of this stuff, but I do wanna see the torches go a little bit in a little bit broader pattern. So let's run that really quick and we'll watch that happen and make sure everything's working the way expected is before we send it on for real. I forgot to put torches in it. Let's try this again with torches. And there we go, a couple rows of torches. Perfect. We didn't do too much with it, it just went up and back a few different times, but like it gave me two rows and two columns, or two rows and three columns, or three rows and two columns, however we want to look at it. But the important thing is, it's doing the thing, which is awesome. So, let's pull these torches, we're going to run this and see if we can actually make some actual ground move as well. Uh, let's clear this area. So I need to add a little dirt, and I need to add the torches, and the torches need to be in the first spot, and the dirt in the second. And then we're gonna do fall, flatten earth, and we're just gonna yellow this. After we, don't yellow it, after we go into VS Code, and we did 40, and we wanted a 16, which is really eight, because we cut it in half. Let's give that a shot. Flatten earth part two, see what it does. And there we go, got one little area. I was off by mm, two in my estimation for going over to the side. That's all fine. We can burn those down. Again, it's missing these, which we expected to have happen. That's just a little manual cleanup, that's fine. We could deal with those programmatically, but it's just as easy to do that. This is in pretty good shape. It turned all of the area into grassland or into dirt, and then which then turns into grass. So there's no cobblestone, there's no whatever. It just makes it a perfectly flat area for us. And that's really kind of nice because we can have this little prototype area with which to mess with. So that'll do it for this one. In the next video, what I'm gonna do is run this as a tutorial. So this was all the prototyping work to figure out what we wanted to do and how we want to do it. So now that we've done the prototype, we'll build the real one for real. And we'll do that in the actual play world, but we'll also have the specific directions that we want to have. So it go much faster and much quicker because it'll be our second time through it. If you all have enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Until next time, be kind and take care.